I wanted to do a how-to video about um, pricing out part out values of sets and obviously um, there's a few ways you can do that and everyone has a different methodology and people have different values that they want to hit many people talk about wanting to hit a three times part out value as the kind of the the, the gold standard um, in my fairly short experience it's not often that you get that and when you do an awful lot of people are already got that set parted out so it's it's longevity at that price is short-lived so i'm going to take you through the couple of ways that there are to do it and we're going to base it on this set okay so the first of the two methods that you can use is to use brick uh, to do that you just simply import a brick link set inventory uh, and there's the last one I was working with so let's just enter 75345 and we're only going to work with one of these sets for the purposes of this you get a little preview of the set there's a whole range of values that you can change whether or not you're going to kind of keep the the box whether or not you're going to part out the minifigures all of that kind of stuff um, but as a basic rule most people are just kind of parting out the set and the minifigures to be sold as a whole. You import that into Brickstore and you're faced with a very familiar screen of all of the elements laid out before you. Dead easy. And you can kind of scroll through and have a quick kind of overview of all of the parts. You'll get a feel for what you have in your inventory and whatnot. And there's other videos that I've done that will show you how you can merge your existing remarks into this file so that you can put it away quickly and easily. Now, assuming you're keeping all of the minifigures together and you're not doing anything crazy with it, um, all you really need to do is select all of your items. Now you do that either with um, Command A or whatever that format is. You can go up here and go um, Edit, Select All as well and that brings up this kind of blue tint when you're in dark mode I'm not sure what it does in the other mode but um, and then you want to go to this little icon up here with a little brick link and the dollar sign now if you click that you'll get this second window which allows you to set to price guide so this is based on the data that is within Bricklink and you can choose between the last six month sales which a lot of people do or current inventory average minimum quantity average or maximum now maximum is a dangerous game because some idiot might have put in the minifigure on one of these for four hundred dollars because for some reason i don't know they could have made an error or something like that so um, best not to do that so let's just say we're going with the last six months sales average and you can there are some other features down here never done it don't know what they're for so we'll just skip that and you just click OK and it does its thing. OK, and it's brought it all up. And then this is the bit that's important up here. So that part out value is forty dollars and eighty two cents. Now, the retail price of these was from memory. Can't actually remember. So let's have a little look on uh, Lego at what the actual part what the actual value of the set is seven five three four five i've got a feeling it's about 32.99 so power values not very good at all okay you're only making a very small profit on one of those if you've got it on a discount you're obviously making a bit more there's a couple other things that you can do within here so let's say you know you want to you want to understand a bit more detail around the pricing of a specific uh, item within it if you um, right click I think people call it but you can kind of it's control click on a Mac you can show the price guide info you click that and it just fires up this window where it shows you all of the stuff um, to your settings so Here's everyone's listings at the moment. Everyone, there's quite a lot. There's 38 available at $6 there. There's mine with the gold thing. I'm listing them at $7.54 and I've sold um, some of those. Um, I thought it doesn't seem I have. Maybe I haven't. I think I have. I've got more than five. 
I've parted out more than five of them. Maybe I haven't sold those ones. Maybe it's another one of the figures that I have. But as you can see, it, down this column, it shows you everything that's been sold. So five were sold at 465, nine at 488. You know, the highest anyone's paid, 675 there, 695 back in June when they were probably a little bit scarcer. And then as you scroll down, you can see other countries and other uh, currencies. You know, someone here has got $15. So if you'd have gone with a maximum price, you would have been charging $15. Someone's got quite a lot of volume there, but obviously that one right there at 38 for $6 is probably the one most people will be buying from for right now. So if you're looking to sell, you probably need to be in and around that price or this one, depending on the kind of quantity you've got. Okay. So that's one way to do it. Uh, let's have another look at a, a different one. Let's see the price card info on this one. I got him about the same price. Geez, there's a lot of those ones there, right? Eh? So there's a heap of these available for sale. So it's not a very contested set. That's why the part of value is not massive because there's so many for sale. So let's close that down. Um, yeah. So, and again, there's not particularly any crazy pieces within this. That's probably the most interesting piece given that that is a fairly uh, useful piece for people doing um, minifigure displays and those in dark red are fairly hard to come by but other than that there isn't a great deal strangely enough I've sold quite a lot of these things recently whatever people are doing with them I don't know but I've sold quite a lot of them recently and those little tan cogwheels they tend to go quite well as well but by the by so there you go, that is one way to figure out your part out value and obviously you can go in and adjust all the prices you want along the way. The other way to do it is actually in Bricklink itself. So if you just go up here to the top, there is this little tab here called Price Guide. And if you click into that, it takes you to this window where you can um, do essentially the same thing, but it kind of gives you uh, some different data points, which is I think quite interesting when you're looking for new sets that you're going to add to your store. So let's put the um, set value in there. So 75345. We're going to include the instructions. We're going to include the extra parts. We're not having the box. We're keeping the minifig as a whole. We're doing one. It's in a new condition and you get the value and you're presented with this screen. So um, current average gives it slightly higher um, current sales average yeah last six months is 41 with 51 lots uh, if you did another set uh, let me do another set for you because if you've got a set that you has lots that you don't have it flags it up for you um, so I mean I'll come back to that let's finish on this one so that is kind of the in bricklink way of doing it so uh, the inventory average so that's the current inventory inventory average is slightly higher at 53.65 but that is skewed by people having those minifigures listed at $15 so the six month sales average is a more truer a more truer that's not good English is it the six month sales average is a truer representation of the part out value so at $33 entry point you're only getting kind of like a third increase so it's it's a pretty poor return on investment and that said i'm about to part out eight of them so i'm going to kick that down the line a little bit more let me show you what i mean about when you've got parts that are not in your store um i have the uh the uh scary island or whatever it's called so four or five nine seven sitting on my desk do that and then so it's part out value so that tells me that this set will be adding 13 items that I don't have and nine lots. So for those people that um, are very into how many lots you have in your store, this is a great tool in terms of quickly identifying how many of those lots you do not have. An alternative to in entering the, um, the remark values from your current inventory store in Brickstore, this is a quicker way of being able to quickly see that 
because he just flags it up. And that's it. That, in a nutshell, is how to check out Partel values. I hope that was useful. If it is, please do give it a like and subscribe for more hints and tips as I dream them up. And if you've got any comments or questions or ideas of things that you'd like a video on, please leave it down below and I'll see you next time.